Hello there, Word Travel 101. I'm coming to you today with my lovely wife, Chrissy. Hello, everyone. And we're here because we want to tell you a little bit about an updated offer from Basque Bank. But more importantly, we want to show you a couple of the ways that you can use these sign-up miles that you get from the Basque Bank savings account to take your family on some amazing adventures. So we're going to start, I'm gonna have Chrissy tell you a little bit about our first adventure, which was a trip to Vermont with our son, Cole. So it started actually a couple of years ago when our older son was 12 years old, American Express came out with a deal where they bought out the entire theater in Chicago of Hamilton. And Ryan was a huge Hamilton fan and we hadn't been able to get tickets in New York. And we were on a train actually home from New York City and Jeff got the notification of the deal and snuck away in between two train cars and bought, at the time, only three tickets for the two of us and Ryan because we thought it would be a special trip to celebrate him becoming a teenager. Yeah, I actually, I, I, when she says in between train cars, it's, she's not even joking because I had to take a phone call so I couldn't really disturb either of the train cars. So I literally went and stood in the area between the doors of the two train cars and tried to have American Express on the phone buying these tickets with my platinum card, which I happen to have in my wallet. So that's, that's how this started out. And he was thrilled to open it on his 13th birthday. We went to Chicago, just the three of us, and had deep dish pizza and saw Hamilton for the first time, which was as amazing as we expected, and had this great time in Chicago. Fast forward to our younger son turning 13. We stressed as we realized it was coming up and we had to also give him an equally cool trip. Yeah, we had to come up with something that would work. Um, enter American Airlines web specials. So we started thinking about what we would want to do with him and what kind of trip we could possibly plan. And Chrissy came up with the idea of taking him on a ski vacation weekend. Cole and I both really love to ski and Jeff and Ryan not so much. And now that we live south of the Mason-Dixon line, we do not get on the slopes very often. So this was the perfect opportunity to get away to the snowy north. So we have some great friends. One of my best friends from college lives in Burlington, Vermont, and he actually works for Burton Snowboards. Uh, so he has a lot of connections with the ski mountains and all anything outdoor winter related up there. So I took a quick look and a uh, weekend where we could take a couple extra days. Um, Chrissy and Cole took a day off of school and I was able to find tickets going up and back on the, the lowest web specials we've seen from American Air, which was 5,000 points each way. So it cost us, for the three of us, a total of 30,000 points. But each way, one ticket was just 5,000 miles and $5.60. That same 5,000 miles that you can get if you sign up for the Basque Savings Account, which we're gonna go over a little bit at the end of the video. But that trip turned out to be great. It was, the weather was looking a little sketchy at first, but it got better as we got up higher in elevation. And I'll let you talk a little bit about what we did up there. We had the quintessential Vermont weekend. We went snowshoeing, we had maple, everything there was imaginable. Uh, as we got up into the mountain, the snow just started coming down. And at one point when we were on the chairlift, we were marveling at how huge and amazing the snowflakes were. It was Cole's first time ever getting to ski in powder, and he declared that that's all he's going to ski in from now on. We couldn't get him off the slopes. My thighs were burning, I had to take a break, and he and our friend Maddie went back out for a while on their own to just really enjoy that amazing mountain. So it ended up being a great trip. We stayed with our friends. We got those low-level web special awards. It didn't cost us too much. Um, our friend managed to sneak us some lift tickets, so. It, uh, it, it really wasn't a very expensive weekend at all, and it was, we were able to do the whole thing with these web special awards. I think the best way to show you where you can go with these awards, I mean, that's a great example that we were able to use for our family, but let's take a look real quick, and I'll show you a couple of searches, and we'll do some real-time searches, and you can see where we can find those 5,000-mile web special awards and where you might be able to go with your family. Now let's take a look and see how easy it is to find some of these web special awards on American Air. These web specials price out as low as 5,000 miles each way, 
which is a great use of the sign-up bonus from these new Basque Bank savings accounts. First, we want to go to aa.com, and that'll get you to the home page. You'll notice that I'm using an incognito browser here, but that's just because I didn't want my Advantage account information showing. You can use any browser you want. Then we'll select One Way for our travel. It's usually easier to search for awards if you do it one way at a time. We'll click to redeem miles. And then we will enter our destination and our origin information. When I'm searching out of the Washington area, rather than just choosing DCA or IAD, I usually type in WAS for Washington, D.C., and that'll pull all of the airports up at once. I don't like to fly out of Baltimore unless I have to, but if there's a great rate or a lower fare, sometimes I will. For this example, let's start with the trip that Chrissy and I just talked about, our trip from Washington to Burlington, Vermont. So as our destination, we'll enter BTV for Burlington, Vermont, we'll leave it as one passenger, and then we'll select for a date a couple months in the future, right there in the middle of May. And then we'll click search and let that run, and we'll see what we come up with. Now it just so happens that today when I'm doing this video, American loaded a ton of these web special awards, especially for domestic travel in the US, so we have great availability at these low levels. You can see here that even on the nonstop we have three different awards available. But let's take a look at the calendar and see how widespread these awards really are. And there you have it! 5,000 mile awards every single day in the month of May. But what if we need to get back, too? Let's take a look at that. It's easy to do. We just switch our destination, Burlington, to Washington. And then we'll search that and see what the return looks like. I didn't change the date because we still want to look at May. And you can see here, everything but two days in the month of May, you can get back from Burlington to DC for just 5,000 miles too. So these are the exact awards that we booked on the trip that Chrissy and I just told you about, and it's a great way to spend a couple of days, a long weekend, or just get a quick trip from the DC area and get into Burlington where you can get some of the great winter snow. But not all of us live in DC, so let's try some searches from some other locations. Let's start with Nashville, and say you want to go from Nashville out to Let's go with LAX, Los Angeles, so that you can spend some time on the beach. Let's search and see what we come up with there. Now I left the dates in the middle of May because with these web searches, although they can be available several months out, with this new batch that just came out today, a lot of them are in the spring into early summer. So we want to take a look when we can find the maximum number of awards. And you'll see that although we didn't have a 5,000 mile award, we do have 6,000 mile awards for this Nashville to LA, and you can see that we actually have three different options on the nonstop there. So let's see the calendar and see how widespread this one is. And again, you can see that almost the entire month, just three days missing, we have that 6,000 mile award getting from Nashville out to LA. And from LA, you can drop down to Anaheim, you can go see Disneyland, which is uh, what the second trip Chrissy and I will be telling you about in just a little bit, or you could just spend some time enjoying the sights in Los Angeles. Let's take a look at a couple other options. We don't want to leave anyone in the country out, so let's spread around a little bit. Next, let's take a look, uh, say you were down in Orlando, and you wanted to get up to New York City. Maybe see a Broadway show, or eat at some of the great restaurants there or just take in the sights in New York. Now New York City, like Washington, has multiple airports, so if we type in NYC, it's going to pull up Newark, JFK, LaGuardia, and even some of the smaller airports in the New York area, so you can search all of those at once. We'll click search to see what we come up with, and sure enough, Orlando to New York City is a 5,000 mile award. Now as we go down here, you'll see some 8,000 and 6,000, and those are for the nonstop, so it's a little bit higher. Somewhere down there, there'll be a connection with the 5,000 mile award, but it might not be the one you want to take, so you may end up paying a little, a little bit more for these awards. But let's take a look at the calendar and see what we come up with. And you can see about half the month they have those 5,000 mile awards, 
and the other half is 6,000 mile awards, so you should be able to find something that'll work if you want to get from Orlando up to New York. Let's try one more. We'll go up to the Pacific Northwest. We'll try Portland and say you want to get a little bit of sunshine. Let's go down to uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and we'll click search there to see what we come up with. And there's web specials for this one, too. Again, on the nonstops, we have 6,000 mile awards, slightly above that base level 5,000 mile. And if we open up the calendar, I think we're going to find, yep, we'll find that it's available every single day in the month of May. So if you want to go from Portland to Phoenix, 6,000 miles and $5.60 for each ticket in the month of May. So you can see that pretty much anywhere in the country, you can find some of these low-level awards from American Air and these web specials, and a great way to earn the miles for these tickets is with a Basque Bank savings account. We'll talk more about that at the end of the video, but first, let's get back with Chrissy and we'll talk about the second web special trip we took as a family. So as we were doing those searches, I mentioned that we would be talking about one more trip that we did with our family, and this one was the whole family, both kids got to go, and it was to California to go to Disneyland, which is one of the few Disney parks that we have not been to. So every year for Christmas, we, instead of buying the boys presents, we get them a trip, a surprise trip somewhere. This started, geez, six or seven years ago. They actually asked us to get them a trip instead of presents because Santa and our very generous families already spoil them enough and they really enjoy travel as much as we do. So each year we try and find a different way to tell them about where we're going and to make it an exciting trip. And sometimes it's a little trip, sometimes it's a big trip, sometimes it's in the U.S., sometimes it's an island. Uh, it really depends on where we can find a deal and what we can find um, to, to make this trip possible. Usually we do it on one of the holiday weekends in January or February, so they don't have to wait too long to, use, to, to go on their Christmas present trip. So this year it was getting pretty close to Christmas, I think. <laughs> it, was. it was maybe a, a couple weeks before Christmas and we didn't have anything for the kids and Chrissy kept asking me, what are we gonna do? Where are we gonna take this trip? What are we gonna do? And I was up late one night and I started to search again with the American Airline miles and I found some web specials out to California and we said, well, we could go uh, we have friends in LA, we could go and spend a couple of days, see Disneyland and California, Disney Disney's California Adventure, I think it is. DCA, just like our airport. Can you tell that I'm not quite as big a Disney fan as, as someone else <laughs> in the family? But, um, so I looked and found these searches and this one was a little more complex because it wasn't just a round trip for 5,000 miles. I think we could have gone for 5,000 miles, but I opted for a little bit better of uh, a flight, uh, a shorter layover, an easier flight. And we flew out there for 5,000 miles apiece, and that was for the family of four. And then we flew back uh, out of Burbank actually which was a great idea in theory. Teeny tiny airport. Because our friends live right by Burbank and it was gonna be great and we were gonna stay with them. But what ended up happening was we, we couldn't stay with them because they had family come into town. So we got a hotel down in Anaheim and an Uber on a Tuesday morning from Anaheim to Burbank airport takes approximately forever and costs $1 million. Um, so that didn't end up working out the best. But the flights were great, and we flew back, I think it was 8,000 miles apiece out of Burbank. So uh, I'll, again, I'll let Chrissy tell you a little bit about that trip since she did most of the planning. I just got us the flights. So going to Disneyland in California has been on my list for a long time. I went to Disney World almost every year growing up. And then when I studied abroad in France, I got to go to Disneyland Paris and Jeff and I went to Disneyland Paris when we got engaged there. And then subsequently, we've been fortunate enough to go to Disneyland in Hong Kong and Tokyo Sea when we were again visiting friends in Tokyo this time. And so when we looked at it, there was really only a couple of Disneys left on the trip. And having friends that live in LA, it seemed like we had to go to the original Disneyland. And especially when I found those awards that made sense. And again, the kids missed, I think, one day of school um, because we did it on a holiday weekend. 
it just, it, everything fell into place perfectly and we were able to get out there uh, and see both of those parks. Now, Chrissy's main reason for going was because we had never been to Disneyland and she wanted to add another Disney park and see all the Disney parks in the world. Honestly, my main reason in going is because I desperately wanted to see the um, Black Spire Outpost, the new Star Wars area there, and ride on Rise of the Resistance. Um, and it, it was absolutely amazing. We had to get up crazy early that day. If you're a Disney fan and have gone, you know you have to get up far before the park opens. We pride ourselves on getting there way before rope drop and getting as close to touching that rope as we can. We took all sorts of selfies with the rope and made friends in the line. But I go through and spend a lot of time planning a step-by-step -step itinerary for what ride we're gonna go on, what we're gonna eat for the day. Learning how to work the Max Pass versus the Fast Passes at Disney World was a whole new adventure in itself. And the family often jokes that I even book bathroom breaks in between. Because she did that once on one <laughs> Disney trip many years ago. So I had meticulously planned this whole plan, including the Star Wars land, and read all these blogs about when the best time to go was. And our first day, we did California Adventure, and it was on one of the busiest days of the year, which you would never choose to do if you couldn't help it. But that was when we had the time off, and we really did maximize our day there. We saw everything we wanted to see. I don't think we went in a line more than 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah, it worked out great with the, the Max Pass. If you're going to Disneyland and California Adventure, spend the extra money on that Max Pass because I can't, worth every penny. cannot imagine doing those parks without that. And then the next day we were going, it was on actual President's Day. So we expected really high park attendance and we were going to Disneyland and what I had read was you should go in the afternoon to the Star Wars because really the first rush is there in the morning. But some people just couldn't wait. No, I was <laughs> I was desperate to see it. And as time went on and it got closer and closer and we actually got up, we got in line an hour and a half before the park opened because we were so excited. And as we stood in that line and time went on and time went on, I was talking to the boys and we eventually decided that there was no possible way we could wait until afternoon to go and see the new Star Wars land. So we finally convinced Chrissy and when the rope dropped, we went directly there. We literally ran as they asked us to walk through the park. Yes, it, it, you can't not run if you're in the front or you will get run over. And as we were getting in line for the first ride, we were also had our phones up and ready to do the boarding group because even though they let you in the park a little bit early and they drop the ropes before official park opening time, you can't book to get into the Rise of the Resistance until official park opening hours and you have to be within the geographical borders of the park. So, so if you're in line waiting to get in still, you can't get a boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. You have to actually be in the park. So we actually got our boarding passes as we were walking through line to board the ride for Smuggler's Run. Mm -hmm. um, and it worked out great. We ended up with group 33. We got on a little afternoon, I think. Um, and it was absolutely amazing. We had a great day. By the end of the second day, the kids were exhausted. You were exhausted. I was exhausted. We didn't even make it to the fireworks. Between jet <laughs> lag and rope drop, we were sitting waiting for the fireworks and one child was laying, our 13 year old, in the gutter with one head on my leg and the other one was just begging us to leave. So we ended up missing the fireworks, um, which is good because we got to get some sleep because we had to get up super early to take an Uber forever to the Burbank airport, which is, um, in my opinion, an airport that appears to be stuck back in the <laughs> 80s, maybe. It was... The airport that time forgot. It was so old and adorable and crowded and nothing at all like LAX. So if you ever have the chance to fly out of there, it's... I mean, it was super easy to access, no security lines, um, but also not a lot of modern concessions or seating or lounges or anything like that. And one thing we really enjoyed about Disneyland after having been to Disney World so many times and the other parks, really focusing on the things that, was, that were unique about Disney. Um, so we had Dole Whip with different flavors mixed in. 
we had these amazing skewers. We got a lot to of good do, foods there. Yeah. And we got to do Pirates of the Caribbean is totally different there. So it was neat to see the differences between the parks. And we weren't very stressed about seeing things that are exactly the same between the two parks. So we didn't ride Dumbo or see a lot of the things in Fantasyland, but we really had a good time honing in on what makes this Disneyland California special. Yeah, and it ended up being a great weekend, a couple of days at the park, one day spent with friends, uh, a couple of days of travel, but those, those low level American Air web special awards is what made that trip possible. If we had flown on uh, even Saber Awards on American or United, it would have been 12,500 miles each way. We could have easily spent 100,000 miles doing that trip, but instead we spent 20,000 miles for the four of us to get there. And then we spent 32,000 miles to get back. So it was about half the price of what it would have cost because of these web special awards. And you can get miles for your web special awards with these savings accounts from Bass Bank, which again is why we're talking about this today. I think we've given a couple of good examples of trips that we took. So before we close up, let's take a look at some of the details of that Basque savings account and the new bonus structure that they have, because it's a little bit different than what they first launched with since that offer did expire. But you still can get a decent number of miles pretty quickly um, and, and book one of these web special awards and be on your way to a trip yourselves. So we've already told you all about the Web Special Awards, showed you how to book them, and told you about a couple of trips that we booked using these Web Specials. Now let's talk about how you can earn some miles to book one of these awards of your own. Enter the Basque Bank Savings Account. This new account from Basque Bank earns American Airlines Advantage miles instead of interest, so it's an easy way for you to get the miles you need for your next trip. Now we've partnered with Bass Bank since they first launched this new account, but since their original sign-up offer expired at the end of February, we thought sh we should take some time now to go over the details of the account with you and tell you what the new offer is that they have for you, just in case you haven't signed up yet. Now the way a Bass Bank savings account works is really quite simple. You just sign up by clicking to open an account and filling out your information. Then the next step is to fund your account. You can bring money in from a variety of places, but the easiest is just to transfer in from another account you already have. Once your money is there and the account is established, you earn miles instead of interest. Valuable American Air miles, worth more than the interest you would earn at another bank. Once your miles have posted to your American Air account, you can redeem them just like we showed you, and you're on your way for your next trip. Basque Bank is a part of Texas Capital Bank, so you can be confident that your money will be safe when you put it in an account with them. In addition, they have no fees on these new savings accounts. They're fast and easy to set up. They have friendly customer service, and most importantly for your money, they're FDIC insured. So let's take a look now at the current sign-up bonus for opening a new savings account with Basque Bank. As you can see, the main thing that's changed is the minimum required balance that you have to hold to earn the sign-up bonus. You can still earn 5,000 Advantage Miles as a bonus, which as we've seen, can get you a one-way ticket to several different places with American Air's Web Special Awards. All you have to do to earn that sign-up bonus is keep a minimum balance of $5,000 in your account for 30 days within the first 60 days of opening the account. There are no direct deposits required, no bill pays required. It's really quite simple. You just deposit $5,000, keep it there for 30 days, and you earn enough miles for one of American Air's one-way web special awards. If you'd like to sign up for an account with Basque Bank and start earning American Advantage miles today, please visit award.travel slash basque social.